Yo, what's up, Seth? We on our way to university. We are going to go to university now. I'm gonna edit a video there, and then I'm gonna come back home. Me and Michael are gonna hit up the gym. I'm gonna have, yeah, it'll be 100 here. And I'm going to have my oatmeal and eggs this morning, like always, and that's about it for now. I will catch you guys a little bit later when I'm on my way home from university. It's 100 already. Yo, guys. Woo. I'm out of breath because I literally came home from school, ran downstairs, grabbed my gym clothes, took my pre-workout, and now I'm heading off to the gym. Michael, who is already waiting there for me. Woo. We're going to smash really fast and quick, but high volume and biceps workout today. I'm very excited because I have a lot of things in mind that I wanted to do today, so or I have a lot of key features I should say I want to work on today. I'll be working on thickening up my back. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of rowing movements today. So let's just get to the gym. Let's do this as quick and as fast as possible. Yo guys, what's going on? So we started the back routine off with just two four sets of about. I believe it was about 10 to 12 of wide grip pull downs. After we had hit our lats on wide grip pull downs, we moved on to a bunch of rowing exercises. I really wanted to work on thickening up the back. So we started with high machine rows. So what we did was we were focusing on the lats and the back the entire movement, getting that mind muscle connection and making sure that we kept tension on the back the entire time and focusing with every single rep on the contraction. That was our main and absolute focus today throughout the entire workout. After high machine rows, we moved on to low machine rows. Again, focusing and on the tension and on the contraction. Every single rep, guys, that was the most important thing through this entire exercise was the contraction and tension. I can't say that enough because that's what I told Michael the entire routine, back routine. Um, <clears throat> our backs were just swelling right up and we just were giving it with everything we had. So after the low pulley machine rows, we moved on to single arm cable rows, which we did with a turning of the wrist I had Michael and myself hold our, the lat that we were pulling with throughout the entire movement. We did one arm at a time at this, and we made sure, again, tension, contraction, guys. Tension, contraction, I can't say that enough. With every single rep, focusing, holding the contracted position for a brief second, releasing the contraction position, but not uh, letting the elbow lock out. We let the elbow go just a slight bit, making sure we we're getting full range of motion on the lat, and then pulling right back in to focus on that contraction. And that's where we finish off the back routine. After that, we moved on to biceps. So we started the bicep workout with just regular cable curls. We did go for a wider grip. And again, I'm gonna say it through the entire time, contraction, tension. We got a full range of motion at the bottom, but we did not release the tension on the bicep. We kept the tension on the bicep the entire time, made sure that the wrist wasn't moving throughout the movement so that we weren't bringing in the forms at all. We were making sure that wrist stayed stationary and we came up, squeezed the bicep and came down. Squeezed the bicep, came down and over and over again. Four sets of 12 on that one. Then we moved on to spider curls. Again, making sure we got a full range of motion, but keeping tension on the bicep and making sure that we we're squeezing the bicep at the top of every single rep and just focusing on the bicep peak is the main point of the spider curls. It's kind of hard to think, uh, it's, it's hard to get that mind muscle connection sometimes with some, something like spider curls where you're lying down, you're on an incline bench, you have your balance to kind of think about where you're gonna put your feet, your chest is on the top of the bench, you're kind of maybe thinking about your chest a little bit, how it's pressed, uh, pressured right up against the bench, stuff like this, and your main focus should just, you gotta tone everything out and just focus on the biceps. 
So after this, we moved on to preacher curls on a machine. This we did three sets of 10, and then we did a fourth set. On the fourth set, we brought it right tail failure, like annihilation tail failure. Then what we did, we, we alternated. So we did five on one arm, five on the other arm, five on the other arm, five, and we switched back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, never releasing the tension on the bicep. And we did 20 reps per arm. Then we drop set it, did 10 reps per arm, drop set, 10 reps per arm, drop set, 10 reps per arm. And that's where we just left it all. Hey, yo, what's going on, y'all? I am home from the gym, and me and Michael had a great, great, great pull session. Holy cow, I just realized we didn't hit up uh, rear delts today. Not good, not good. Anyway, guys, so I'm about to eat my meal here, and oh, I like this. What's going on here, a little flex. I like that, I like that little uh, separation we got going on there, Damn. Anyways guys, so today something I focused on was a lot of mind muscle connection and making sure that we were contracting the lats the entire time and uh, making sure that we kept everything under tension like almost the entire time. So it felt great, we moved through it pretty fast and now I'm about to chow down some spaghetti and then I'm gonna have my mass gainer at work. We'll catch you guys a little bit. Later. It's uh, Daddy's Home 2 compared to Daddy's Home 1. Way better than the first movie. Actually? It's so hilarious. Was John Cena in it? Yeah. Like, uh, for a big role? For a big... Yeah. Wasn't like, like, bigger than bigger than what he was in the last one? Yeah. Like, in the last one, he uh, he only had, like, a 30-second like a role. Yeah, he walked out and he, like, flexed yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But I am going to do stuff. Up. I am a little tired. Guys, that's a bad confession to... I have a confession, not a good confession. I have not uploaded a video yet today. I'll see you guys at Seth's. Hello puppies. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know you were there. You scared me. Nice pajamas. Nice stolen pajamas. <laughs> stolen. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, boy. You need to go shower? All right. I need to take off this jacket. Here, can you, uh, can you hold this for me? <laughs> hey, guys, I think it's time to take off this jacket. Three, two, one. Done. I'm so fancy. What? I have an energy, can you tell? I don't want to do anything. Ooh, look at that stash. Oh, I'm getting a call. Devin. Hello. Hey guys, just going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys all have a great day and like always, happy lifting.